I mean, he was, uh, a, they also he was took, a defensive coordinator there. So, well, I'm normally a fan of people going to the area where they live from, but I can't see Elko taking the job at Rutgers. <laughs> no. So that's out. He's from South Brunswick, New Jersey. So you know, unless he's holding out for the NFL, I don't know what you're going to take in the uh, northern uh, part of the United States. Yeah, I would. I could see a And M. I mean, he he did pretty well when he was their defensive coordinator there. So. That would that would seem to he's a good coach. Yeah. Who else could I see for Michigan State? Um, it, would Jonathan Smith leave his alma mater, Oregon State? Remember, they're not really in a power five anymore. So he's gonna get paid a lot more at Michigan State. You know, if I'm Michigan State, I almost hire somebody that's gonna run a clean program and it's nice if we win, but with all the stuff they've got going on. I think they need to make a safe hire, not a risky one. Two How names they mentioned was uh, Lance Leopold and uh, Chris Kleiman. I, I could see Kleiman would make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kleiman would make sense. Uh, maybe Jake Dickert, who's the head coach of Washington State. He used, yeah, that was to, another name. Yep. he used to be a coach at Wisconsin Whitewater. Mm-hmm. Um. Who else could I see? Maybe Pifleck doesn't make a lot of sense. I, I don't get that one because that's kind of a lateral move. Well, I'm wondering if this was one of those things where somebody had to just throw names out there yeah. and mention PJ Fleck because I, I mean, I don't see it at all. Well, I mean, what if what if Fickle hadn't taken the Wisconsin job? Would he be up for? Would Michigan State have pursued him hard? Yeah. Absolutely. I think Wisconsin's a little better job than Michigan. Oh yeah, State. I agree. Yeah. I agree, hundred percent. So, I, I I don't think he would. He definitely wouldn't leave Wisconsin. Um, trying to think of someone else that maybe. They Dion, talked about I guess, uh, Jim Tressel's son. Who? Jim Tressel's son. I think his name's like Chris or something. I forget what his name is. Coach Prime. Is that- Bring Coach Prime to Michigan They mentioned State. about him, too, yes. Yeah, team that has all that controversy is going to be. <laughs> Let's bring a real wild card out there. You're going to win. You're going to get attention. You're going to get attention. You'll get some really high-end recruits, but – yep. Ultimately, who knows what ends up happening with some stuff. Luckily, it's a little more open market these days. Um, well, yeah, I don't know. Names and Saban, so is there. Maybe if, Saban. <laughs> Saban. No, I don't, I don't see that. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What? What? Well, you never know. Uh, what happens, though, if you wait and see if somebody gets fired? Could you get somebody... Uh, you know, just on the on the merry-go-round back. I mean, if I'm Jimbo, I don't think I'm coaching next year if Texas A&M fires me because I got to imagine I'm going to get a lot of money to sit at home or do TV or something. Yeah, fired like a coach that could possibly be let go that Michigan State would be interested in hiring. What about uh, Scott Frost? No, uh, no, I don't see that. No, he if he what gets if-, if he gets back into coaching, it'll be for like a. Group of five school. What about Gus Malzahn? Yeah. Is is Michigan State a, a that big a step up from UCF, especially now that UCF's in the Big Twelve? Uh probably not. But you know, I mean, they've got the they've they've got the name Michigan State on them. So I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much of that plays. I don't know that Gus Malzahn has any geographic ties to Michigan, but I don't think that matters anymore so no. tom herman i'd stay away from that personally but yeah that seems a little <laughs> controversial but actually that would be a decent hire by them i mean he was at ohio state and yeah he had some controversy and then he he kind of ran he was known to be problematic to deal with with some of his personal antics for texas yeah i i don't think michigan state i think you are right I think they go with more of a safe pick. I'm gonna make I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a prediction. I will say Jake Dickert from Washington State. I'll say Climate. Because um Washington State is obviously in this limbo if they might not be in a power five. He's done a good job. 
He's a Midwest guy. He's going to take the job because it's a pay raise to a better conference. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with him. But I don't – Chris Kleiman uh, – I just wonder if Kansas State is actually more competitive at the Big 12 than Michigan State. And yes, you'd make more money, but sometimes is longevity and winning better than short-term money. And I think some coaches, you know, they're always like, oh, they'll leave because of more money. I think that's short-sighted thinking that some, some coaches do. I agree. But I think some other coaches are like, wait a minute, I can win eight, nine, maybe. Like, he just won a Big 12 title. I could win eight, mm-hmm. nine, and or a Big Twelve titles, and make you know my three, four million. Sure, I'd make double, but I could end up having some really bad teams. It's it's kind of a program that's going through some stuff, and end up finding myself fired in three years. That's but whereas Washington State doesn't even have a Power Five conference, they might not even be able to pay Dickert what he's getting paid now, and. Washington, I mean, they don't even like right now, they don't even have power five conference, so it doesn't even matter how good you are. So, um, that's why I would lean Dickert over Kleiman, but uh, yeah, Kleiman's a good pick. I'm gonna go Lance Leopold, no reason, Midwestern roots, but I think it's, I think it's what Tyler was saying. I think, uh, Leopold's safe at Kansas for as long as he wants to be, almost. I really do, unless, unless they just absolutely tanked. But, I mean, when has football ever been a big deal in Kansas for a prolonged period? I mean, even I can't think of that, and I'm the oldest one here. So I think Leopold sticks around in Kansas until he says, I don't want to coach anymore. See, I would lean Leopold over Kleiman because Kansas State has notoriously been better at football. Yeah. So, so I would lean Leopold leaving Kansas because I think Kansas' ceiling's a little lower than Kansas State. And Leopold will be 60 in May. So, again, that's what I call my safe pick. Because I think a younger guy, like you said, Tyler, uh, you can maybe keep him around a longer time. But if you want somebody that's just not going to make this thing a laughing stock, I mean, I know Lance Leopold has had a lot of uh, time at Wisconsin Whitewater in D3. But, I mean, I don't think he's going to embarrass the program. And I'm not saying those other guys would either. But I just think an older gentleman, not going to embarrass the program, I, you know, that might be your safe pick. The Top 25 Rundown, every Wednesday at 10.30 p.m. Eastern, here on the Sportscast.